Hello, my YouTubers. Welcome to the late edition of uh, the pregame call through for the Leafs to take on the Florida Panthers this evening. I'm a back around midnight for the updates in the morning postgame show. Well, I'll take you live right now to the pregame call through for today's drop, puck drop. Here we go. It's like a pregame press conference. So, uh, I mean, they're a good team. They, they play hard. They're physical. Um, uh, and, and, and they played well that series. And obviously, you know, going to the Stanley Cup Finals, they, they earned that and played well the whole time. So, um, you know, it'll be a challenging night for us. How much emphasis is there on long road trips like this to kind of starting on the right foot? Yeah, yeah, I think it's important. I mean, when you look at the schedule, it's always great to have a road trip early in the season unless you don't play well. And then it becomes, uh, you know, a long trip. Um, but so... You know, to your point, ultimately, we want to come out here and win games and play well and, you know, get our game going in, 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 in a good direction. Um, and so that starts tonight. When you see a stretch like this on the schedule, do you get excited? Just time away with the guys? On, on um, yeah, I think that there's two ways to look at it. I think, um, I mean, it's nice being at home to start the year for sure, like we uh, uh, had a chance to do. But, uh, you know, it's, I think this is a good opportunity for our group to get together on the road. And, uh, uh, you know, play good teams and have challenging nights and, you know, try to win important games for us. And, you know, ultimately, like I said, we want our game going in the right direction. Uh, and I think that there's, you know, room for improvement right now with that. Uh, so we'll look to start that here tonight and carry it on for the rest of the trip. What have you noticed about the way Max has integrated himself with the group? Max has been great. Um, uh, you know, I think he's doing a great job for us. Uh, I mean, we have lots of new guys that have come in and, you know, we've tried to make it a good environment to, to kind of step into. And, uh, I mean, Max has been outstanding. What's the focus when it comes to team defense? Uh, just keeping the puck out of our net. Uh, you know, we want to spend less time in D zone. We want to be better through the neutral zone. And, um, you know, when as D men, when we get a puck on our stick in our zone, we want to be able to make plays and exit and, uh, you know, not spend uh, too much time in there. No Ekblad, no Montour, no Bennett. How much of, can you use those absences of their core pieces to your game? Yeah, I think that can be a dangerous thing when you start thinking about absences and people that aren't out there. You know, we're going to keep our focus on the players that are out there and uh, I mean this is a very good team with with uh, good depth so uh, you know we're not taking anything lightly and um, you know to be completely honest with you I don't think we know who's you know in and out at this point in the season so we're just going to go out there and play. Timothy it's uh, first game against these guys since the playoffs is their home opener kind of what game are you expecting tonight? Uh, fast game. Uh, we know they're a good team, and obviously, from we're not happy about how uh, how things ended last year. So, uh, should be a good game. What do you remember most about that series? Uh, they're very good in transition. Transition. So, uh, and that's something we've uh, we've been struggling a little bit with uh, uh, first couple of games here, uh, automatic rushes against and stuff like that. So, uh, should be a, should be a good test for us tonight. What changes for you having Jake McCabe as a partner? Not much. Uh, I think uh, I think I can do better too as a player. So uh, just gonna try and work on my game and uh, uh, have a good game today. Where do you think you need to improve specifically right now? Uh, kind of what I said. I think I've been uh, a little uh, loose on on tr tr transitions uh, going back to our end, uh, letting up, letting up some some automatic rushes and stuff like that. So uh, I feel like that's uh, that's where I gotta improve on most. How much do you think that's early season stuff? And you got some new guys integrating in with the structure. 
Yeah, I, th I think it's part part of uh, it being early in the year, and um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think uh, we just gotta have a little bit more determination out there and uh, a little more uh, more focus and uh, stuff like that. But I think uh, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. In the transition game, what's the key to kind of correcting that? Is it just looking over tape, keeping things simple, going back to your strengths? I think just going back to the middle of the ice more often, like after after you do a pinch or something like that, just get back back to your spot after. I think we've been struggling a little bit with uh, lingering uh, around the corners and stuff like that instead of do your pinch and then get back back to the middle. So. He's going to take warm up to be certain, but uh, that's the plan. Yes. Uh, Florida missing some players, but it's their home opener. They're unveiling their banner. What sort of a opponent are you expecting tonight? Uh, I'm one that you know that I think has a lot of confidence in who they are, which they obviously earned. You know, not just last season, but even the season prior to that. Um, so yeah, they got lots of confidence in who they are and how they play. And uh, their first home game, as you say, I, you know, ex we expect them to have lots of energy and pace. What's the key to closing up the transition game or getting it into your? Yeah, just staying alert and you know, aware is a, are the big things for me. You know, is uh, some of it structural in terms of you know some of the some mistakes made there, and some of it's just not being alert or aware and and transitioning quick enough to defense. You know, that was that's a big one the other night. Um, two different things. First period, we, we, we turned the puck over a lot, forcing plays in the middle of the ice, which when you do that, you don't really have a chance to defend. It, it just happens too fast. And this team here in Florida has transitions as, qu as quickly as anybody. Uh, and then the second period for us, we were on offense a lot, had the puck a lot, and, and, uh, and maybe forced the issue too much and didn't get back to defense or stay on defense if we were a forward covering for a D or, or something like that. So those are things we've talked about and I expect as the season moves along here we get more reps that that alertness and awareness is is you know, close to perfect. David Camp is starting a little more in the offensive zone than the D zone this year compared to the past. How much of that is your strategy versus just a small sample size? Uh, it's a little bit of both. I would say, you know, obviously the makeup of the of, of Camper's line uh, is different this year than it's been in the past. So kind of managing that a little bit. I haven't used them much against the other team's best players, especially in our own zone. And which is often on those face-offs, that's when you're going to see the other team's best because they're sending them for ozone face-offs. So I haven't used them a lot in that situation, but I've looked at it and thought, talked about it. I have some ideas to, to get him a little bit more involved that way because he certainly does have more to offer us. Uh, so there's, there's that. And then obviously, you know, uh, Fraser Minton's presence has also kind of changed the mix a little bit. We're trying to give him opportunity to grow into into a role and, and be comfortable in the league too. How does Max get more going offensively? Yeah, just confidence. I think finding his rhythm with whoever he's playing with. But you know, he's coming here. He's trying to. He's really trying to work hard and do well defensively. He's trying to manage the puck. You know, I think he's got a lot going on in his head. And, you know, the more that things become natural for him, which adjusts into a new system, and he is really eager to do very well um, and do what the coaches are asking. But I think over time, he'll just settle in. You'll see some of his more of his instincts come to come to uh, the the forefront. Um, he's played in the league a long time, and we expect that he'll settle in the more comfortable he gets. What does a good game by Matthew Nyes look like on the line he's with now? Uh, creating turnovers. You know, uh, winning puck battles, keeping that group on offense, you know, helping them on the defensive side of it, whether that's forecheck and, and earning pucks back and closing space or getting the puck out on the D zone wall. Just little things like that. Uh, when it's his turn to make a play, make it, but otherwise, you know, do, uh, do a lot of the dirty work. You're getting me having for the pregame. I'll be back later on at midnight of the highlights of today's game. See you later. Bye for now. And tune in tomorrow for 7 a.m. for the postgame conference. Bye-bye.